How you doing guys, it's your boy Alan Wade back here again. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I'm doing this video as a follow up to a video I did some time ago when I connected my Xfinity X5 pods in order to speed up my internet connection for streaming video games and game playing online. I made that video and I showed you step by step how to connect your Xfinity X5 pods to your um, Xfinity system in order for it to work. Uh, went through all the steps. If you want to learn how to do that, watch this video right here in the, in the um, link right here. Just click on that little link in the corner and you can watch that video. So I got a lot of comments in the comment section of that video. People saying a lot of crazy stuff. People saying, no, oh, the, the X5 pods didn't actually speed up your internet. I get all that. I get, I, I, you know, I'm not all technical with how the system works. I get it's a mesh system and it's not speeding up the internet. It's just boosting the signal. I get it. I get it. But the point is, it did speed up the connection. That's the point I was trying to get at because I was streaming online using my Wi-Fi in my house and I would get the stream would just drop and I would, I would when it regained connection, I'd go live again. So what I want to do is have a constant or stronger connection so that my streams when I was gaming online would not drop. And by hooking up the Xfinity X5 pod directly to the PlayStation via the uh, Ethernet cable, I was able to get a steady connection and I never have any drop, dropped uh, gaming experiences anymore. Um, video games load up faster, they stream faster, graphics and everything just streams faster, they, between gameplay it plays faster. So I just wanted to do a recap and show you guys what the speeds were before um, you hook up your Ethernet cable to the PlayStation and after it's hooked up to the Ethernet, um, after you hook up the Ethernet to the uh, Sony PlayStation, PlayStation 4 guys. So uh, just in case you guys want to consider this as an alternative, if you guys are experiencing drop gaming like I am and you have to play games right next to your, um, your Xfinity box or something like that, so you guys know that you have an option you can buy these X5 pods. And also, by the way, um, I bought a three pack of X5 pods and I was told that the three pods have to stay in the same household. That's not true because I have one downstairs in my living room and one downstairs in the basement and my box is upstairs in the back room. And the other X5 pod is across town at my girlfriend's house. So. I'll, t I'll do a speed test over there and you can see um, the differences um, with it over there. And th then I hooked it up to her system and it's working fine. So I did separate the network. I got two in my house, like I said, and one in my girlfriend's house and it works fine. So yeah, guys, uh, but let's get into it. Let's test these speeds on the PlayStation 4. So for the first test, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go behind our PlayStation and we're gonna disconnect the ethernet. You see the ethernet cable's connected? We're gonna disconnect it from the PlayStation for the first test, all right? So now we're disconnected. You guys see, I just disconnected the ethernet cable and we're gonna go ahead and check the uh, connection speed, all right? Internet only, Wi-Fi only. See how much of a difference this makes. Test connection. Connect to ADAP Productions, look at that. Checking, boom. 44.8 megabits per second, 3.7. That's not bad, actually. And we're gonna go out and test it again. See what we're gonna get this time. It's taking a little bit longer this time. Checking. Look, we dropped significantly this time. 27.3. 27.3. And when we're playing video games, guys, we're downloading information from the net. So that's what we're gonna, that's the information we wanna uh, pay closest attention to. But we're also uploading information also when we are streaming. But let's test it one more time, three times a charm and then we're gonna plug back in the ethernet and check and see if it makes a difference. We got 27 that time. 
As you can see, all this is taking quite a bit of time to obtaining successful. There you go, boom. Checking. Checking. 29. Okay, guys, so we got a fair idea of uh, what type of speeds we have. So let me just tilt over right here. You can see the Ethernet cable right there running from the X5 pod that's plugged into the wall, going over and behind and coming right here. So now we're going to go back and we're going to plug it in, guys. Give me a second. Let me show you guys. Plug this thing back in. Behind here. So you guys can see here and plug it back into the PlayStation. Spin the PlayStation back around. Because I know some people are like, you didn't connect it, you didn't connect it. You guys just saw me connect it. So now, let's go and see if this makes any type of difference. I'm not sure if I have to switch it to the a LAN connection, guys, but I'm just gonna go ahead and test it like this and see what happens and um, see if it in, in, in increases like this, all right? So, test it. Oh yeah, see it's still connecting to Wi-Fi network, so I do have to switch to LAN, all right? Because it's, it's still connecting via Wi-Fi. So, I'm gonna switch it after it checks one time, real fast. I'm not sure. But, I don't know. You see the big jump already, right? 70.4. All right, so I'm not sure if, it's not gonna jump from 25 or 20 whatever to 70. So I'm, let's go back out of there, test it one more time, just like this, and then I'm gonna switch to LAN. Switch the connection, but I'm, bet, I'm betting you that it jumped that high because of the connection that we have, because we plugged in that ethernet. Wi-Fi connection, Wi-Fi signal might be too weak. Okay, see? It failed. Okay, so let me go in here, set up the connection. We're gonna switch to use a cable. All right. All right, now we're connecting. Boom, test internet connection. See how fast that happened this time? Look how fast that, that populated, 74. That populated really, really fast, right guys? Before we, we, you know, the problem that I was having before is like when you be streaming and when you be playing games online and you're streaming to like uh, Twitch or something like that, signal just drop. Next thing you know, you're offline. Like like we just witnessed when I had the Wi-Fi connection, but we're not getting that now. Let's test it again. Go to test connection. Look how fast that happens, as opposed to when it wasn't connected. Boom, 74. But constantly getting 74. Constantly getting stuff in the 70s. Let's come all the way out. Test it again. How fast that populates. Boom, 73. All right, so it's fair to say that we are getting a better connection because of the um, ethernet cable. Now, let me, just to satisfy you guys, unplug it once again. Let me unplug it once again. Unplugging the Ethernet cable for those non-believers. All right, and my, um, like I said, my cable box is upstairs in the back room. That's significantly away from where I am right now. So now we're gonna run this test just like this. We're not even gonna go out. I know, I, I know I'm uh, selecting the LAN uh, connection, but um, I'm just gonna test it and see what happens. It should fail. I shouldn't get anything because I didn't change the uh, connection uh, method. Okay, LAN cable, okay, so I gotta go out and I have to set up the connection, change the Wi-Fi, yes, and now we should be connected and test connection. I'm not sure if we are connected actually. Let's see, it's taking quite a while there. Not as fast. Hmm. Look at this. I'm not even sure if we are connected. See what happens? This is the difference between Wi-Fi and, yep, that's how long it took. The difference between Wi-Fi and tells you that right there and see how long it's taking to populate. That wasn't that long, actually, but 
It did take a long time to initially connect, and that's not a bad thing. Actually, that's not bad. 69? That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all, guys. Let me go out. Let's go back and, and test the connection again all the way out. And let's test the connection again. Let's see if we can get a 70 this time with the cable unplugged. But like I said, the, the LAN connection, the Ethernet cable is always going to be stronger. It's always going to, um, look, it's taking a long time to populate. And then 90. Whoa. I have no idea how that can happen over Wi-Fi. That's incredible. Of course, it's based on who's online and stuff like that, but I haven't gotten that speed even with the Ethernet connected. But like I said, guys, um, you get a steady connection. And the only reason why I did this is because I was getting like uh, dropped streams while I was gaming. So now, since I've had the Ethernet connected, I never get any drop streams. So even though we're getting fast, faster speeds actually with the Ethernet connected, it's still not as dependable. See, look at that. We just went from 90 to 25.5. So that is highly unreliable um, internet for streaming, guys. So uh, there you have it. So there you have it, guys. Um, I hope this uh, helps somebody out because if you're streaming online and if you're, that's how you're making your money, especially if you're uh, popular on Twitch or something like that, or you're a YouTuber and you're streaming, gaming online, you can't have like drop connections. So this right here is a way, is an alternative for, you know, speeding up your internet. I'm gonna say it again, I don't care, speeding up your internet or increasing the signal of your internet that goes to the, um, goes to the, uh, PlayStation so that you can not have drop calls. This is very reliable. I've never had, not said drop calls, I've never had any drop streams since I connected this Ethernet. So um, I hope it was helpful. Um, if it was, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your gaming friends or your friends in general. It doesn't work just for uh, the PlayStation. It also works for boosting the Wi-Fi signal itself in the area if the Wi-Fi signal is not that strong in the specific area of the house. So um, just something to think about. It's a dope little toy. I like it. Shout out, shout out six, um, shots out to Xfinity for making it. Some people are highly, highly anti-Xfinity and have like uh, weird feelings about what service provider is the best or whatever. I think that I like what I have and I'm sticking to it. So. I hope that will help. It was helpful, guys. It's your boy Alan Wade, King Alan Alexander, on all social medias. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, and go visit my merchandise store at alanawade.com and buy yourself some channel merch to help support the channel. I got some interesting stuff on there, so check it out. alanawade.com. It's your boy King Alan Alexander on all social medias. Thank you for watching ADA Productions. Peace and I'm out.